Okay, so we're gonna make something kind of like um, Cuphead. Okay, this is going to be the boss, and here is my character. Okay, you can download these um, assets from the description down below. It will be in my Ichi.io page, and I will also post a completed version after. All right. Okay, so let's uh, get started. If you uh, download this project from my Ichi.io page, you will notice that one you run this nothing happens okay so just let me um, show you quickly all the assets and stuff uh, this is just a cheesy two frame <laughs> animation or something okay like it's literally nothing right uh, this year uh, the uh, the character is actually two parts um, you double click on this and you can see that um, it has a um, the, the all the directions you need okay you could even animate this if you wanted to you can have different animations that for this example we're going to keep it super simple and you know simple uh here is the um walking animation it's literally just two frames so uh, let's begin by making this a uh, platform object so select that platform object from here you can make it a physics uh, object if you wanted to i'm gonna set the initial direction to right here and uh, you can set the speed to whatever it doesn't there's no one way to run here so just whatever you want uh the gravity i'm gonna set it to 30 for my example here and the strength to I don't know 60, 70 something, and I'm gonna make the button button two. Okay. Now this here, it is an active object. This is don't need to be that, but I'm gonna make this. Um, actually, at the beginning, this is uh, set to invisible. You can make it visible if you wanted to, just so you can see what's going on. In the event editor, create a um, collision between that, and you can make your character stop there, so you can <laughs> walk around. You can kind of see the idea where we're going with this. Um, this is like the way they used to do make games in the old DOS games. Uh, let me just hide this again, and when you run this, you can see that um, it looks like it's walking in the uh, the background there which means that your background could be anything really this is just a picture in the background too I drew this uh, based on one of the bosses stage in Cuphead all right so for the second part we can attach this to the uh, body so uh, to do that uh, you can do an always and you can place that object um, always above this object here and now that's gonna follow that now it looks like it's um, <laughs> a very small character let me fix that there maybe a little higher up here like this Okay, that kind of works. So now all we need to do is uh, make this character an eight direction object. Okay, so select the uh, eight directions and um, yeah, we want all these directions except for the bottom one and the initial direction the right. Okay. <coughs> so that handles the uh, uh, turning automatically so now you can press up and down and this already works I mean just like that let me just fix that uh, position there on the um, X so you set that to zero so it doesn't look like it's um, sticking out so there you go that's more line now and from here all you need to do is uh, fix the shooting now like if you press uh, Z or whatever button you want you can shoot an object I already have an object here to shoot uh, or do I? 
why don't okay let's uh, create one make an object active object and um, I'm gonna make some sort of something um, something simple I'm not gonna spend too much time making this maybe like dot fill it with um, lighter kind of blue crop this and fix the hotspot or the action spot whatever you can even animate this if you wanted to you don't have to um, let me just make it darker in the middle okay so you press Z and you can make your object uh, shoot an object okay or launch an object in fusion and um, select your object and it's going to be in direction of uh, active object too you can select the speed and whatever depending on the weapon you're using I will make a video on how to change weapons. Okay, so now when you shoot, mm, you will shoot. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me show you quickly um, where you need to change the um, hot spots or the uh, action points in the um, in your character. So each direction has its own. Um, action point I think it's called action point yeah so um, you can also play a sound as well play sample okay so play that Pretty, pretty simple. Okay. Actually, let me just uh, get up here and. All right. Can get up there again. All right. So if you collide with the background, I guess you could um, also stop the um, the character. Take the same stop there and. So you can jump on platforms. Kind of like the old Contra. Now to change the animation for this, uh, I believe I made an animation for that. Uh, let me see, double click on that. I believe it's at the bottom here. Um, it's just two frames. It just kind of blinks when you get hit. So you could make a collision with that too. Uh, collision with the uh, bullet and the bad guy you could make him blink you simply change the animation change animation sequence to a stand up it doesn't really need to be called a stand up okay i'm only doing that because it's a this is a different version just like that you can also destroy the um the, the bullet or the projectile or whatever you can make a hit sound too like now that animation is going to freeze so to avoid that you want to um uh limit the condition only one event when it loops so try this again. I think the animation is gonna freeze eventually. Um, so what you need to do it's um, so what I would do is I guess you could um, restore the animation once it's finished. Um, animation finish. This one here restore animation sequence or or you can just change it back to um. Uh, back to stop okay and now it's not gonna freeze you can do it as many times as you want now to make this move you could use a path of 
path object whatever movement or anything so I just went something simple like circular movement and that works right away see you just kind of need to um change the position of that uh, set that to 100 here and for the center maybe 300 I mean half of the screen whatever the half the screen is now when when you're um when when you're um during the game you can um, have a counter here and change the position of the uh, the object like for example uh, when you reach certain time like for example like uh, I'm just gonna make it like uh, 10 uh, 4 seconds you can change the position of the object <clears throat> position select position uh, maybe over here or something I don't know if it's gonna work or not Da, 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 da. <laughs> uh, it works. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna do that for now. Just I'm just gonna leave it like, like that for now. Last thing I guess at the beginning of the frame you could um, play some music. This is the Cuphead uh, uh, music there. Plain loop sample. <laughs> And zero means like it plays uh, forever. Very simple stuff. Like anyone can do this. Anyone can cook. Like, never mind. Okay, so we can shoot stuff without um back either the boss. Um. Uh, I just have it that every every five seconds you could um, launch objects. It could be like launch an object. It'll be this animated um, projectile, whatever. And for this, you can actually uh, select the direction. Okay. And you can double click on this and make a copy and literally just change the direction like so extremely simple paste change direction one down and you can kind of see where I'm going with this I'm just gonna do all the directions but I'm probably gonna edit this out <laughs> All right, you can make as many as you like. Um, there it is. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I think you can take it from here. Uh, you can add a health button, whatever. I have other tutorials about that stuff. Um, yeah. So that's it guys, thanks for watching, see you guys in the next video. I will make a more in-depth uh, video about this in my other channel, the Sparkman 2 channel. I'm gonna try to revive that channel because it's pretty much dead now. See you guys in the next video. Bye now.